So artists, like any other group of people, can be assigned certain characteristics, i.e. stereotypes. That's certainly true, and sometimes they are accurate, sometimes they're not, and we're all different, really. Now, there is something that we can be prone to, especially when we're starting out. When you're a new artist, if you've either self-taught or just out of college, I think that you are particularly vulnerable to certain kinds of scams because of what we inherently are looking for to move our careers forward. And what is that? Validation, uh, success, anything to show us that we're on the right path, that what we're doing is good, and the world is going to respond to it in a way that will help us move forward and just be what we want in the world, in our careers. And when we are looking for those validations, we can overlook red flags. So there's a few different scams that actually purposefully go after artists and creatives. There's probably a lot, but I'm gonna talk about three that I'm most aware of and have seen. So one, a job that comes through email or some kind of contact form online. Somebody can actually find, if you have your website with a contact form, contact you from there, I've had it happen to me, and they wanna hire you for a job. They will address you by name, they address you directly through your website, and they are contacting you and back and forth conversation of what seems like an in-depth conversation about a job. The job is gonna to be to hire you for some work, some illustration work or artwork that they want, and they might give you a very valid, uh, what appears to be a very valid assignment that they're looking for. They'll even sign a contract with you. Now, what's going to eventually happen is if they send you a check for your work, they're going to want to do it right away. They're going to want you to cash that check right away, and it's going to be for more than they initially agreed for the work. And it'll be some kind of thing like, we need you to cash this right away because of whatever's happening with the client and we're gonna have you do extra work, but we need to get moving immediately. So they put pressure on you, cash that check. Next day, as soon as they know that you've cashed that check, they say, scope has changed. We need half that money sent back to us. Keep an extra hundred for your trouble, but send us back that money. Money order, blank if you don't mind. If you didn't have red flags before, if anybody's doing that kind of crap for any setup at all, immediately just stop everything, notify your bank if you've cashed the check, go to your police, which might or may not be helpful, but just stop, all stop. The way that you can see these coming a little better and not get dragged down to that far with, into their scam before you find out that it is what it is, um, is to verify information. You think that having somebody sign a contract offers protection that they're going to be more of a valid person, not necessarily. Uh, verify who they are, not just their name and phone number, but can you find this person or their company online? Uh, will they speak to you on the phone instead of just emailing? It's okay to ask for these things because I'm telling you there are people out there that are looking to scam you this way. So verify that the people are real, verify that their company that they work for is real if that's a part of it. That, is, that should not be a problem if you ask for these things and your client is offended or doesn't want to comply, that's a red flag. Okay, another one, but it's that random email contact. Oh, I've seen your work. My wife wants to buy a painting. I have $700 to spend. Could you send me some options? They don't use your name. You don't know what the heck they're talking about. How have they seen your work? What work are they talking about? I mean, just ignore these emails. I can see how somebody might be like, somebody wants to buy my work, this is amazing. I haven't sold any paintings yet or just a couple little things and they wanna spend that much money. When you're getting going, that sounds pretty good. But if they're not referring to specific work, if they're not even referring to you by name, if they're contacting you via email, but there's no like legitimate contact information for them, major red flag. So my recommendation is just delete that email, don't engage. Now, the least insidious of the three, but still a scam nonetheless, as far as I'm concerned, places that will reach out to offer you to apply for their residency. 
Now, an artist residency can be a great thing. Um, typically, you find one that fits what you're interested in as an artist and that you think will help you to grow, and you're going to apply for it and find out about it. Where is it? But when you see something coming up as somebody approaching you and saying, hey, you should apply for our residency, there's at least a few that probably actually do the residency, but they blanket email tons of people to try to get as many people to pull in those fees as possible. And then eventually they'll give somebody. It's just shady. Like, honestly, if you are interested in a residency, don't trust that because somebody is approaching you that it's because, oh, they think you're amazing and a good fit. Find the fit yourself and then start to pursue it. So in a nutshell, those are three of the big things to watch out for. But wait, here's a new one. Somebody will send you a contact through your website or email saying that your website has copyright infringing images of theirs. Now, if you're posting just your own artwork on your website and you're not actually doing anything that would infringe on anybody's rights, they want you to download a file through a link. Don't do it. And I think that if you're listed on a site like ArtStation, that that seems to be a big source of um, where people find information on artists, contact information to try to scam people, which is really unfortunate. I don't know the specifics of all of the scams, but protect yourself because the more you put yourself out there to be noticed and recognized as an artist, which is exactly what we need to do, the more we're putting ourselves out there to also be targeted for scams. So just be careful, look out for yourself, protect yourself as best as you can, and good luck in your careers or your hobbies or whatever you're doing if you love it. I think it's fantastic. You guys rock. So just, you know, keep your eyes open. If something feels weird in your gut, probably is, and uh, good luck. And stay sane and keep making things, guys. See you soon.